So hi hello everyone welcome to the channel and today I will show you how to export an image in Google Earth Engine. So let's get started. So to export an image in Google Earth Engine first of all we know we need to uh, load a Landsat 8 image into Google Earth Engine. For that so load a Landsat 8 image and select three bands. So to load a Landsat 8 image I had defined a variable called Landsat 8 double e dot image Landsat Landsat 8 collection mod tier 1 top of the atmosphere Landsat 8 with a specific uh, satellite ID that is 2017 dot select we are selecting the band band 4 band 3 and band 2 so now let me show you the band 4 band 3 and band 2 of Landsat 8 image so band 2 band 3 and band 4 blue band green and red all the three bands is of 30 meter resolution so with the wavelengths are given here so now after that to uh, output our so to print its uh, property we have to print the Landsat 8 uh, property we define print collection referring to Landsat 8 or referring to our Landsat 8 this variable and after that we define a variable called visualization parameter so we need to define a visualization parameter for Landsat 8 Landsat 8 image so for that I defined a variable called visualization parameter equals to band curly bracket band band 4 band 3 band 2 and max is equal to 0 0.3 so here the max uh, max 0 0.3 refers to the maximum reflectance value and after that, to add this layer into Google Earth Engine, we defined map dot add layer, Landsat 8 visualization parameter, Landsat 8 image. So here the visualization parameter refers to our defined visualization parameter for our Landsat 8 image, and the Landsat here refers to the the satellite image we are importing into our Google Earth Engine. So now let me run this code. Go to the option called Run Script and click this. So now you can able to view that the layer is being loaded here. So let me check this out. So this is our referring the the Landsat 8 image. So we have our uh, bands. So we have three bands: band two, band three, and band four. That is uh, shown here. Here, so band two is blue. Band 3 is green and band 4 is red. So band 2, 3, and 4. So also because we have a property of this, we have that is a metadata of this satellite image. This is also available in the property section here. Let me close this. So now let me check this satellite image. So this is our Landsat 8 image we have displayed in Google Earth Engine. So now we can able to view our Landsat 8 image clearly. So our next analysis is so our next analysis is to create a subset. So create a subset region. So let me create a rectangle. So to create a rectangle or the to subset our uh, region of interest so now we have uh, so now let us create a rectangle for that uh, for that I have defined a variable called region equals to double e dot geometry dot rectangle so we're going to create a rectangle so for that I had defined it the four coordinates So we should provide a four, four coordinates of the rectangle and after that to add this layer I defined a map dot add layer. So add this layer to add this layer I defined map dot add layer region refers to this variable of a rectangular rectangle variable and curly bracket and uh, comma region and uh, to display the that is 
So to center this, uh, center this of our rectangle, we define map dot center object region, region referring to this geometry that is rectangle, and uh, 10 refers to the zoom level. And the curly bracket, and the curly bracket here refers to the default visualization parameter. So here we define we define the uh, visualization parameter for a Landsat 8 image. So we are here using curly brackets to uh, to uh, keep the default visualization parameter for our uh, rectangular rectangle uh, layer. So now let me uh, run this code. So go to this option called Run Script. Click Run Script. So now we can able to clearly view our rectangle that has been overlaid on our Landsat 8 image. So this is our new rectangle I have created. So it is needed to uh, it is needed for us to subset this image and to export this image. So our next step is to export uh, export this image to our Google Drive export to the Google Drive. So uh, to export uh, export the satellite image to our drive, so we define this algorithm export.image.toDrive. So this particular algorithm will subset our image and export our image to our drive. So here we define the different parameters. So image that refers to our Landsat, Landsat 8 image description is to uh, to uh, image to the drive so we're going to export this image to our drive that is our google drive and so the next parameter is scale the scale that defines the resolution of this bands that is a spatial resolution of this three bands we defined earlier so band 4 band 3 and band 2 the spatial resolution of band 2 Band 2, band 3, and band 4, it is 30 meter resolution. So, so here we define as a 30. And the region is we define region. So we already defined the geometry that is our rectangular geometry. So we are referring to this variable region. So now uh, let me run this. Go to the option called run script. Click this. So now we can able to view in the right side of uh, console section, there is an uh, option called task. So let me click that. So now we can able to view in the task uh, section, it has an unsubmitted task called image to drive land set. So to uh, export to our drive, click this option called run. So after clicking this, the image will be uh, exported to, uh, to your drive. So now uh, let me click this. Go to this option called Run. Click Run. So here the window has been popped up. So it is giving us uh, there is a name of name that has been given uh, in our uh, in our export name. So we given a name to uh, drive Lancet. The coordinate reference system is EPSG, and the resolution spatial resolution of the three bands is 30 meter resolution. So for now, for now, let me uh, run this. So now we can able to view in this section. So it will be exported to our drive in one minute. So once it has completed, it will give us a, a tick mark, a tick mark indicating that is it has been exported to our drive. So now we can able to view view that. So it it, it it has given us a tick mark indicating the indicating that the satellite image has been exported to our drive. 
So now this image will be available in your Google Drive. So next is to, uh, to export our image to the cloud storage. So now to export your image to a cloud storage, you have to define you have used this algorithm. So we are using this algorithm called export.image dot to cloud storage so to export your uh, image to cloud storage we particularly we are going to use this uh, algorithm so next is so the image is a uh, landsat 8 image description the big description we're going to give this uh, as image to cloud landsat and the bucket here refers to the drive folder so we're giving a, so we're giving a name to our drive folder that is we are referring as a bucket so we're giving our name as a test to the drive folder and file name prefix is our landsat uh, export and spatial resolution is 30 meters and region and referring to our geometry the rectangular geometry so here with our four corners so now let me run this so go to the option called run Big run. So now we can able to view here. So we have our image to uh, image to the cloud landsat. So let me uh, run this. So previously we have uh, exported our image to the, our drive. So now we're going to export our image to the cloud. That is our cloud storage. So let me run this. So similar so the name is image to cloud landsat spatial reference and uh, that is our coordinate system this is spatial resolution and the bucket here refers to the test so we defined as a bucket the bucket test and output prefix is landsat export now let me click run so after the tick mark uh, it indicates that the, uh, the image has been exported to our cloud storage, similar to this. So the last one is to export to the asset. So in the asset app or asset option, that is uh, basically exports your, that is your satellite image, the Landsat 8 image to this section, that is asset section. So after exporting your uh, after export to asset, your satellite image will be available in this section of this asset. So here we have different sections like script and docs and asset. So now this data that is a Landsat 8 image that uh, it, it will be exported to the asset section. So to export to asset, we define export.image.toAsset. dot to asset. So this algorithm will export our Landsat 8, uh, Landsat 8 image, so this one into our into the asset section of Google Earth Engine, and the image is Landsat 8 image, and description is image to asset Landsat, and asset ID is so we should define asset ID as as a Landsat export, and the spatial resolution of this uh, of this uh, Landsat 8 image is 30 meter resolution, so we're using band 2, 3, and 4. That is 30 meter resolution and region we have defined as a region so that is uh, this one so we already defined variable region for the geometry rectangle then so last we are defining the permitting policy so to make sure that we are set to a default visualization parameter so the permitting policy basically uh, we have uh, then using a curly bracket that is make sure that it is of our default value it takes the default value so now let me run this code go to the option called run script and click run so after running this code go to the option called task section so now we can able to view that so suppose if you want to export your data to as section of this a Google Earth Engine, so go to the option called Run. So image to asset Landsat. Go to the option called Run. Click Run. So, so the spatial resolution that is a coordinate reference 
coordinate system and uh, spatial uh, resolution and uh, so now click run so it is loading here so this is our option that is image to drive landsat an image to cloud landsat an image to asset landsat so in this way you can able to uh, export your the image to your landsat drive that is your google drive or to uh, to your cloud landsat or to your asset section of google attention so it is uh, it has marked okay so it is performed well so uh, in this video i have shown you how to export the landsat 8 image to your google earth engine and uh, i have shown you how to uh, export your so i have shown you how to export your uh, image to your landsat drive that is your google drive or to the cloud or to the asset section of google earth engine that is here so thanks for watching please subscribe to our channel that are special